Jay Shramata Ji. Jay Shramata Ji. Thank you for joining joining us, Akbar Sami Ji. Um, it's it's a real pleasure and a delight to have you with us uh, to share your memories of your times with Sri Adi Shakti Sri Mata Ji Nirmala Devi herself. Um, would you like to tell us where you were and, and what time it was uh, when you got your self-realization, please? Before I start my story, I just want thanks to you and those who are dedicating their life for all these beautiful memories we gathered in Sahaja Yoga with Sri Mataji, our experiences, miracles for the future generation that they can uh, kind of enjoy yeah. from those experiences. Thank you very much for whatever you are doing Thank you, for sir. the rest of the world, for the rest of the seekers of the world. So my story of uh, self-realization is quite long. Uh, I don't know how, how much time I have, <laughs> <laughs> but if I have enough time, then I... Tell share. us how old were you and which country were you in, please? Well, this was... Uh, uh, I was 32 years old mm -hmm. and uh, I got my self-realization in London. Right. Uh, just to mention, you are of Iranian origin. Uh, yes. You got your self-realization in London. Amazing. Yeah, but I was uh, 74. I came to Italy. Mm -hmm. to study architecture. Right. And then uh, when I finished my study in Rome University, then uh, for a few years I worked in Rome, but then it was too difficult to find the job. Then I searched the job uh, out of Italy. Then I find the job in Zimbabwe. Right. Then I heard they were saying from London there are cheap flight to Zimbabwe because it's the colony of Britain. So I said, oh, I have some friend. I go visit them. And from there, we are fly to Zimbabwe. So <laughs> this was all kind of beautiful plan that uh, Shirmataji did it for me. So I came to London in 10 days. Um, I found a job in Hampstead. Wow. And I found a house 10 minutes from the job, uh, just five minutes from this Hampstead Hall. So, wow, and this is 1970? No, this is, uh, was 82, 1982. 1982. Okay, yes, please carry so, on. So, and in front of my house was this uh, Indian supermarket. Right. So, for two years, I was uh, going, working, shopping from that shop. And for, before that, for many years, for 20 years, I was searching. I didn't know what I was searching, but I was traveling like mad from one country to another country, one city to another city. I just wanted to find one person I see. This is the promise that they were saying, all this great prophet incarnation that human beings is the highest of uh, creation of God. Human beings is this, but in all my traveling or searching, I never saw anybody in that state. And I was watching myself, I said, I'm not there at all. <laughs> so there was so much thought, so much doubt in my life. And I didn't want to get married because I was saying, what am I going to teach to my child? I mean, 
26 years I study, I become architect, this, that, but I'm not satisfied, I'm not happy. So I start having headache every other day, stomach trouble. So every day after work, I used to go to this Hampstead Heath Park mm -hmm. and walk there and complain to the divine. Oh God, why you create me? What can I do? I mean, I know something is missing uh, in my life, but I don't know what to do. I'm so tired of searching. Please help me. Every day I go there three, four, five hours. I just walk like mad and talk. So one day while I was uh, walking, I heard a voice tell me the thing you are searching is inside you, it's not outside. Wow. I couldn't move in that moment. I don't know, maybe the voice was Mother Kundalini's voice, Mataji's voice. And then some movement of that Kundalini must be there because for the first time, I feel, oh my God, my feet is on earth. I'm, I'm, something has happened within me. I'm so uh, happy, content. And I was telling to myself, okay, if it's within me, I will find it. I'm so tired of searching outside. I don't know for how long, one hour, two hours, I just was stunned. I couldn't move. Then, from next day, I go walk and say, what is inside me? What do I have to work? Um, I don't know what to do. Like this, again, walking, talking with myself. Yes. <laughs> then I remember the Sufi. They were saying, God is within you. You are God. Yeah. Then I said, oh, I have to find God within myself. Oh, God, where are you? What can I do? I don't know how to get contact with you. I mean, I don't understand what I have to search within me. Again, I'm walking and talking. <laughs> then I remember until 15 years old, my mother was doing this Islamic prayer, namaz. Yes. And my father was doing also. So I was the good child of the family. I was doing namaz. So were you able to do this namaz because it's done five times a day, isn't it? And were you yes. able to do it while you were working in London? No, 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 no. So when I was 15 years old, then one day I do namaz. Yeah. And I see before namaz, after namaz, I'm the same. Nothing is changing. So I left it. Okay. Now, after many years, I said, okay, to find a God, Maybe I have to do namaz again. I see, yeah. So I start doing namaz. I'm going like like this in my knees. Yes. I feel in the void. The vibration is coming up. Wow. It's so peaceful and joyful. I don't want to get, <laughs> get up. Yeah. Then I when I put my head down. And the mother earth, I feel in Akia vibration so much. I don't want to take out my head from the down. I said, oh, namaz should be like this. Wow. I mean, just one time I we do in the morning two times this exercise. Yes. And uh, for me, it was one hour, one hour and a half, I was just enjoying Thoroughly. Yes. Then I said, okay, I have to find out about religion. So I go to the library, I take all the sacred book, the Bible, hmm. and the Torah, and yoga, lots of books, bring yes. home, borrowed from the library, and I start reading some Bible about baptism, with this, and different, different things, yoga. <clears throat> Two months, I was in this state, I doing agree. namaz, and I was much, much better than 
before. And you, so, could feel, uh, you could feel the what we know as Sahaja Yogis as vibrations in your void and, and in your agya when you would do... Uh, exactly, exactly. Now I can describe, but at that moment, yeah. I didn't know anything what's happening, but I was happy. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So um, one day I felt... I'm so thirsty worshiping God. I feel I'm lonely. Yes. I said, where I go to worship God? I know the church is not the nice place and mosque is not, but mm. I don't have any alternative. I go to the church. Right. So I was living in Hampstead. Now I'm close by Hampstead. There is a chair. I go there. I see the door is closed. Mm. I said, oh God, all the time I see these doors are open in my life, but now I want to go, it's closed. I go to second church, the door is closed. I go to third church, the door is closed. I said, okay, God doesn't want I go to church. So I come home and then I go to this supermarket, Indian supermarket to do some shopping. So I was friends with the owner because two years I'm shopping there. So as soon as I put my feet inside the shop, I see a small picture of Sri Mataji in the wall. A very small picture. Now, can you imagine? This photo two years was there. But I was not ready still. Amazing. I had as Mother is saying, uh, we have two birds, one like a bird, Dvijaha. First, the mom has to sit in the egg for 21 days. When the chick is ready, 21 days, and break the egg, then become the bird, second bird. So since it is two years, I had to suffer. Uh, my headache started and all those trouble until I get ready. So I asked this owner of the shop, who is she? She said, oh, they have every Thursday, they have meeting in this hall next to your house. Just five minutes walking. Do you want I take you there? I said, yes, please. Thursday, take me there. And there is this yogi doing introduction. And He's talking about inside. I was so happy to hear something happen from inside because I didn't know what's happening. He's talking about chakras, talking about these channels of energy, talking about all this subtle system, about Kundalini. Oh, I was flying. <laughs> so when he finished, uh, talking, I just jump and hug him and said, I'm so happy finally since I found whatever I was searching. So then they put Shirmadeji talk. Every Thursday, I was sitting next to the cassette player to listen to her talk. Then every word of her it was like my cells of my brain was rusted. And then when she was telling things, it was just become the lie. I was so happy. She was, for example, she was saying, you're not responsible. God is responsible. Oh, seems 20 pound you take from my shoulder wow. <laughs> because my mother was saying always, you are responsible. My father said, you are responsible. The Were you the said, eldest child? <laughs> Were you the eldest child in your family? Yeah. No, yeah. no. Uh, we, we were uh, five children. Two, okay. one brother, three sisters. Okay. So <clears throat> I just uh, was so happy going first sit next to the cassette player and listen to her and try to learn a few sentences. Repeat in my head, I don't forget. For example, she was saying, okay, you have to be thoughtless. 
no reaction. For example, you go to the park and watch the tree and see for how long you can watch the tree without thinking. So from the first day I was doing like that. Mm -hmm. I was in the bus watching outside and see I have reaction in the mouth. Going to this beautiful boutique of clothes, nice thing, yeah. hamster there. Many. Very fashionable part of London. Yeah, <laughs> looking this beautiful clothes and see if I have desire if I want it. <laughs> okay. So like this, three months is passing. Every time I go after the talk, and Sarji yogis come and work on me and say, do you feel this cool breeze in top of your phone, frontal and bonehead? I said, what do you want? I mean, I'm so happy I found it. What is this cool breeze? I was not interested even to put my hand and see. I said, I'm so happy I found it. <laughs> you so, weren't looking for Rue. <laughs> yeah, every time. Yeah. They come and work on me and I was... Anyway, this time I come back from the center, Hampstead. Uh, it was 10 o'clock. I just... 10.30, I go to sleep. And as soon as I put my head down in the bed, my eyes is closed. Suddenly I feel like a drop of cool water in my frontal bone area. I said, oh my God, what is this? This is three months, they're eating my head. Do you feel this cool breeze? Maybe this is a cool breeze. <laughs> <laughs> so I feel my body become more hot. Uh -huh. And my thought is a stop. There is no thought. And completely my attention is to hear what's happening here. I'm just laying down, my eyes closed, and just enjoying. Um, I feel so relaxed, not moving at all. Then this drop of cool water with the heartbeat become larger, larger, boom, 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 boom. After some time, all this sasra was cool. I was, but the rest of the body was hot. Right. So I came down, came down, came down, came down. My head is all cool. I don't feel the weight of my body and I'm watching, not hard, not moving one millimeter. <laughs> and I didn't want because I was so comfortable, so nicely laying down. Then came down, came down. As soon as reached to my heart, it's like when you put the TV on, so suddenly the image is coming. I feel the my heart in palm of the two hands, but my eyes is closed, I can see this heart, so much light, I can see all the veins and palpitating, I said, my God, this is my heart, let me see if the palpitation is the same, so I listen to my heart, I see the palpitation is the same, so this coolness stay very long time in my heart. Then when the heart got cooled up, as soon as the coolness came out of my heart, this image went away. Then came down, came down, came down, until my toes. Now all my body is cool. I feel I can fly, there is no weight. There is, I mean, <laughs> amazing time. Then as soon as the heat went away, the seven chakras start palpitating, boom, 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 jetting out heat. I was feeling better and better and better. And exactly I could feel where are the chakras. So this was going on and on and on. <laughs> I was not moving <laughs> one millimeter. It was just, after some time I opened one eyes. And I see the sunlight from the window. I opened my eyes and said, no, cannot be. I look at my watch. It's three o'clock the day after. So 
that means 17 hour I was just like that for me it was 17 second I was out of the time amazing I couldn't wow. I couldn't believe still I cannot believe but that was it this was 1982 again that's 92 yes 92 1980. Yeah, then uh, I, I said, I have to go to work. So I came down from the bed. When I came to stand up, I said, oh my God, what's happening to me? Where are my doubts? Where is my thinking? Where is... It was just like newborn baby. I just remember in Bible about baptism. I said, oh my God, this must be baptism. For me, it's a second life. And that, I mean, brilliant. <laughs> I was babbling with the joy for four days. Yes. Uh, day and night, these chakras were palpitating. Yes. <laughs> and I was in this state, I don't know how to describe it. Less joy. Babbling with the joy. And I said, oh my God. I have to Vivananda, take what message. we call it, Vivananda, yes. Um, yeah, I, uh, at that time I didn't know what's yeah. happening. So I called Sahaja Yogis, I told them what happened. So they're happy and uh, I said, Shri Mataji, I mean, well, give me the power. I have to take this message all over because I know everybody has problems. So, so if after, I could ask, um, if if one may ask now, um, how did you relate to Sri Mataji, and when did you first meet her? What was that first meeting like? Yeah, this was uh, after one month. Sri Mataji was in India, so she came back, mm -hmm. and the first public program was in Hampstead Hall. So after the program, Sahaja Yogis went to her said, Shri Mataji, we find a Muslim. <laughs> and she was smiling and said, come here. <laughs> I went, I sat next to her and she massaged my asrara. And she said, oh, he's okay. Then after four days, I'm in the train with her and two more yogis. We are going to Brighton for Buddha wow. Puja. Wow. I still have four months in Saji Yoga. I'm so bubbling with joy because of myself. Yes. I mean, I know I mean, that kind of recognition with her, I knew it's because of her. That that uh, voice in the park was from her. Yes. Now Kundalini is moving. Yes. So for Five, six days, uh, we were in a small little ashram in Br Brighton. Uh -huh. And we were 25 yogis. We did puja to her. And... Which puja was that? Do you remember? Buddha puja. Sri Buddha puja. 83. Buddha puja. 1983. 1983. Wow. So uh, then we washed her feet. We were with her. Uh, then after that, I was, I said, I have to start spreading this message. Yes. So I said, I have to go back to Italy because mm. many years I was studying there, I was living there. So I said, I have to go back to Italy because I know many people. Yes. So that's the point I came to, to Rome. Uh huh. Yeah, then uh, the first public program. And, uh, this leader of uh, Italy came to me and said, oh, you have to come with us. Right. <laughs> At that time, he had a big hotel and uh, a restaurant. So a few yogis were working there. Uh -huh. I said, no, I'm an architect. I have to work. I said, no, you come. Yes. And from there, somehow, she wanted, she wanted ashram, then we searched ashram, then she wanted the school for small children. Then uh, we started having the school. Then she wanted uh, that uh, we go to a new country, mm -hmm. do for one year program, establish a bunch of yogis. Then yes. we invite her to come 
to do program. Yes. So we were, I mean, my car was in two years, 200,000 kilometers. Wow. <laughs> Going from one country to another country. We started from right? Finland, Finland and, uh, and Greece and um, Turkey and Italy. Amazing. At that time was only in Rome, 25, 30 yogis, and Milan, a few yogis. Yeah. And we started doing program. Somehow it was uh, done. How long somehow. were you in Rome then? How long did you did you work in Rome and then uh, try and spread... Um the self-realization, the enlightenment, share it with the uh, people there? Well, actually, all of my life, since I got my self-realization, yes. somehow I recognize kind of my destiny is this. I have to give this. Yes. I never, I try... I mean, to find a job, but somehow <laughs> never worked out. And yeah. some, because uh, I knew I'm in good to do this. Yes. To travel, to give self realization in Rome Ashram. Yes. For I don't know, for 20 years, we were wow. taking care of these children. Uh, I mean, I was all the time dedicating my life uh, to take care of these children in those 20 years and traveling and giving self-realization. And still kind of... Uh, yes, doing the same. All the, yeah. all the efforts to please our whole Ashri Adi Shakti, Shumataji Nirmala Devi, our Holy Mother. Um, yeah. Tell me something. Um, now, we had an Iranian neighbor, she's a yogini, Mary Majedi, and she used to, we had our weekly meetings, and when it was her turn, we would all cook once a week, like we used to meet Fridays in those days, um, and we'd cook dinner. But particularly Mary's Iranian dishes were absolutely delicious and mouth-watering. <laughs> now, my question to you is, um, having been brought up as an Iranian and with such nice, uh, very flavorsome, rich food. Did you ever cook for Srimataji? And what did yes. you Yes, What yes. did you Many, many times I, I cooked for her because I was living in Cabela and uh, I was two years in India. We built a house for her a couple of times. She but asked me to Oh, cook. so you worked on Pratishtan as an architect? No. No, because the, that first day I meet, meet her, she said, what are you doing? I said, I'm an architect. She uh -huh. said, uh, one time you have to build a house for me. Okay. Then years passed, uh, Paratistan was built. Right. Then uh, we were doing program in Istanbul. Right. Then uh, for follow-up, there were about 60 people for follow-up. We were four people who went there to do the first time. Uh -huh. Then we said, somebody has to stay here to carry on with the follow-up. Then I said, maybe it's Muslim country, so I stay. Yeah. For nine months, I stay there. Which year is this, please? What time? Which year? This is 80, must be 80. 88. 88. Summer of 88, I would imagine. Yeah. Timing are not very good, but no, I think <laughs> uh, oh, it is, yeah, uh, no, uh, earlier, sorry, because 87 or 90, no, 90. Uh, no, yeah, 89, I think, 88, okay. 89. 1988, 89, you were there yeah. in Turkey. Then with... we, we yeah. rent a beautiful uh, apartment. Yes. And for nine months, the door was open. 
new people were coming, singing bhajans and meditation. It was one of my best time there. And were you working there again or not? No, no, no. I, I never worked because <laughs> this was my, my work. Your work is something else. I understand <laughs> that. Okay. It really seems... Uh, the divine uh, takes care. Yeah. Seems uh, kind of... Uh, we had a contract with divine. <laughs> okay. Shri I take your message all over. Yes. And I leave everything to you. My children, my wife, my family. Everybody. And it really worked. My children, they brought up nicely in the school, the mm. Dharam Sala. And uh, really, these 42 years, she never let me down. And I never work. I never pay any penny for taxes. Still. Oh, wow, gosh. <laughs> Okay, amazing. Now, that, that is another is a very big miracle in itself. Um, I will not ask. We won't talk about it on record about it, but I'm sure because the divine works in very mysterious ways, which is beyond comprehension of our limited minds, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, but so, she organized somehow from my marriage that my wife was yes. kind of uh, good for rich family, so... Yes. You didn't have a kind of Absolutely. financial yeah. problem. Yeah. I'd be forced to, to work. Yeah. So in these but, places, I yeah. cook a few times yeah. for dishes for Shirmataji, and she loved, especially with the rice, the way we yes. are making. Yes. I remember in Cabela a few times I cooked for her. Can you please describe your cooking and then what was the reaction? I know you are in London at this time, but um, I'm sure you have many photos with Shrimataji on different occasions, uh, which you might like to share at some point in the future. But for now, please describe to us what is it you cooked and what yeah. is going on in your heart, in your brain, because um, it's... When you're totally surrendered, it is it's big joy. But then there is as a human being, as the human mind sometimes just, you know, you can you can see the internal conversation and and you have to ask it to shut up or just stop it and then rise above. Did anything like that happen? Or please describe the whole process of a meal <laughs> that you made for mother. Well, I mean about this rise, I must say. Yes. Um when the, she was eating, then Tell her, call the cook. It was Indian cook. Yes. And she cook came and said, you have to make this rice like this. Yes. You know this Indian said, the head mobile, yeah. They never do. Yeah. Yeah, they'll do it their own way, yes. Yeah. But that's how you made it because that is really special. You cook it in butter, ghee, a clarified butter. And I, I remember eating it because, as as we said, we had this neighbor, Iranian uh, yogini neighbor, and, and we had some sometimes that lovely yummy rice. So for the benefit of um, uh, <laughs> those who are watching it, please describe to us. Yeah, this is a different way of cooking. It's like uh, first boil a lot of water. Yes. And when the rice is boiling, you put some salt and then put the rice. And before the rice is cooked, it's like mainly like uh, how you make Italian pasta. Yes, all done. A lot of uh, water, then uh, when it's boiled, salt, and before they say al dente, you have yes. to fill it with the teeth. Yeah. It's not cooked. Yeah. So the rice is the same. You taste. It's yeah. not cooked still. So yeah. then put it uh, in the cold water. Ah. It's cold. It doesn't grow anymore. Yeah. Then you put some potato or something in the bottom. And then put the rice with uh -huh. a high flame. Uh -huh. And you have to add the one glass of, depend how much rice is there. Because it's not cooked. It still has to cook. You need water. Yes. And you have to put water. Then, with the kind of material, you have to put the lid. Right. 
this material will absorb the, the steam of the water. So what that is the material? That will rise one by one. It's not yeah. sticking together. That's why she matters you like it. Because all the starch goes to the boiling water, goes away. Yes, yes. So it's very healthy. Yes. What it is doesn't material? have that much Sorry. starch. Yeah. What's this material you mentioned? Uh, any kind of material, this kitchen towel, you can just put oh. a pound of that. Yeah. When I uh, start the steaming, then you put this on top of that for oh. 15, 20 minutes with low flame. Yes. And the rice will uh, cook properly. Amazing. So she love always this Indian food. Yeah. I must say also about this uh, building. Yes, please. Then uh, when I finish, nine months we were there, then I invited Sheikh Mataji to come for public program. Mm. She was very happy. And then before she left, yes. she said, uh, okay, now come to India. You have to build a house for me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is in Noida. It's a private oh, house. Oh, yes, I've been to that house. Beautiful. Yeah, five-story house. Yes. It's beautiful, like a, a museum. Yes. Museum. Which year so for, is it again? Please remind us. This is, was uh, after that, it must be 89. 1989. Okay. Then two years I was there. Mm -hmm. I mean, the structure of the house was... Uh, oh. Then when I went there to India, there was another architect from India, so we were two architects. So uh -huh. we went to measure the plot uh -huh. and then came to her uh, and put a small table for her, the paper and then pen. And we told each other, we don't suggest anything because she knows everything. So whatever yeah. she said, she said, gee, gee, gee. Okay. Okay. She... A start. Oh, here is the, they put bedroom in this side. Here is the window. Here this is the measure everything. Then put the, uh, the staircase here. Then something you could see cannot go there, but we knew. Then she was asking, the staircase is here is okay? Yeah. <laughs> she said, Yes. So you said you want to go. <laughs> I just leave it now. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> so this is staircase is good here. G G G G. Then uh, this I mean four or five hours she is doing everything. And from time to time she asking. Oh, the bedroom are okay. The size of the window is okay. G, G, G. Then we take the, that paper and put it in the scale. And next day we go to her. Oh, bedroom not there. The bedroom put it here. The circuit not there. We put it there. We change everything. It's better here. G, 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 G. <laughs> so three, four hour, five hour, we change completely. Third day we come again. Fourth day, third. little by little, you can see. Oh, she t took a kind of um, a place taking light from the sky. Somehow we never thought about that. Few things. Uh, it was become completely amazing. Yes. So this and place, the light that comes uh, from, was it in the sort of like near the center of the house? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So six, 16 days, the project is finishes five stories. Wow. And then when the project mainly was finished, then she started criticizing the architects. So right. we knew from the beginning. That's <laughs> why we didn't suggest anything. Yeah. Oh, this architect, they have the concept in their head. The bathroom should be there and the staircase should be here. 
And she brought the example of a woman who has a baby. It takes nine months until it gets complete. Mm. So a project of the house also that you want to build, mm. it takes its time. Yeah. So you have to create. Put first the, the circus here, then look how it becomes, then bedroom there, then change it, then see, you don't have to have preconcept that should be there, should be there. Somehow, a big lecture for us as an architect. And I heard all the engineering part also she did, which bar you put the steel, I mean, she knew everything. Of course. <laughs> then it happened that another uh, miracle to buy this uh, Cabela. Right. I mean, do we have time? Or... Yes, please, Adrian. So after two years when the this house, the structure is finished, and then she was in India, she told me, come to Milano, I want to buy a castle. Right. So but you I were in to... India at that time? And, uh, no, I was in uh, India, two years I was there. And then Shimadaji said, come to Milano. Yeah, come to Milano, I want to buy this castle. Yes. So every day we go see different castle. Yes. After three or four days, we found a beautiful castle, really castle, I mean, two floor, high ceiling, yes. with all painting and all 90 bedroom. Yes. And the garden was amazing. Yes. Then she asked us, do you like it here? Yes. I said, uh, I mean, we said, yes, she managed it. Yes. So she said, okay, bye. In the meantime, it takes a few days to buy it. So she said, let's go see other places. So we go see other places. Uh, then uh, this Cabela came. Yeah. So we come to Cabela, and the car of her, she couldn't go up mm -hmm. to the castle. So she said, OK, I stay here. You guys go and see. Me stay with her, the others went up. When they came down, then she managed to ask, how is it? Well, the, we were kind of com confronting with that castle because Cabello was totally destroyed, was very bad shape. Yes. They said, she managed is a small and all broken. <laughs> yeah. She didn't say anything. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is another thing I understood from her. She knows every single thing. Absolutely. She just play with her children and enjoy yes. <laughs> this play. So what happened? Still, she didn't buy that. She didn't say about Cabela. She said, go, let's go buy some furniture. Wow. Wow. We are all... <laughs> <laughs> so we go to one big, huge building, five story. One floor is bedroom, one floor is sitting area, table, chair, one uh, floor is bed. So she's just walking, not even a stop. Then we are with one list. Oh, four single bed, this single bed, two double bed here. Is that three hours? Wow. <laughs> you go to all big list. So we all thought these are for this uh, castle. She said we want to buy. Mm. Somehow it happened for different reasons. She could we couldn't buy that. Right. And then quickly she said, let's go to Kaverna. Because Guru Puja was coming uh -huh. and she wanted to do puja in the garden over there. Castle. Right. So we came, she came to the Cabela with the mayor, 
She went up and see and in one hour she bought both. Yeah. Amazing. Then um, in the puja, she is saying, oh, these five intellectual people sitting in my head, they want to buy that castle, which is, which was nunnery. <laughs> <laughs> they don't feel vibration. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she wants to see her. It's amazing. It's, if My you God, have time, say in Hindi is is beyond <laughs> our comprehension. My God, yeah. Yeah. Another one is uh, buying Rome Ashram. Mm -hmm. This was another kind of. If you have time, I can tell that. Yes, also. please quickly share with us uh, how <laughs> we bought the Rome Ashram. Yeah. So, in that time, I was the driver of Sri mm -hmm. So, one small miracle happened for me. Yes. The day before she arrived, I said, okay, I go to buy a suit for, for me. I go with the new suits to the airport. Uh, so I got, go to one road close to my house. I go to this shop. It was clothes shop, all the road. I didn't like it and was not my measure. So I reached to the end of the road. It's 8 o'clock in the evening, so the shops are closed. So I said, oh, maybe she manager doesn't want I buy clothes, uh, suit. Okay, I came to, towards my car and it was nearly dark because all the shops were closed. As soon as I reached to my car, I see a plastic bag in my door. I said, my God, who put this plastic bag there? Maybe somebody wrongly put it there. I wait five minutes, ten minutes. Nobody's in the road. It's, it's dark. So then I go a little bit open. I see some clothes, I don't know. Again, five minutes, I wait. Nobody is coming. So I put this in the car. I come home. It was three suits in my size. Usually my legs is too short. I have to always to make it shorter. But this was just right. So... I wear this clothes, we went to the airport, we brought Sri Mataji to <clears throat> it was all ashram. Then um, uh, 10 days she was there, and then the day at two o'clock, I think she was she has to uh, depart, go to another country. So I'm the driver, ready, waiting. Usually she get up and then uh, she will have tea and she will have breakfast and shower and she's ready. Now it's 10 o'clock. She's still chit-chatting, chit talking with the, some yogis and uh, 11 o'clock. Now 2 o'clock is departure now. <laughs> So wow. at 2 o'clock you were leaving for, where about, where were you going again? I, I don't remember exactly where she was going, to maybe Germany, maybe, I don't okay. know, Belgium, yeah. yes. I don't okay. remember. All right. But 2 o'clock was departure, it means at least 1 o'clock we must be in the airport. Yes, that's right, to get so, a flight on time. Yeah, so it's 11 o'clock still... She's sitting there having tea, and kind of we are <laughs> a little bit nervous. So then she went half shower, then breakfast. Then hundred children are waiting with the flowers <laughs> for her. Now it's twelve o'clock. <laughs> So she came out and then hugging this child, taking flowers, this. So one o'clock, she sat in the car and she kind of silly. I was going 180 kilometers, 90 kilometers an hour in the 
<laughs> then 10 kilometers to the airport, there is an accident, it's traffic. The cars doesn't move. So we put in the uh, one line is for police. And they will put there, going fast. So we reach to the airport. As soon as I break, she just got up. She said, what's happening? <laughs> so we put the windows down and Sajiv is well out. They said, she managed the flight is canceled. She was very relaxed. She said, okay, let's go have lunch. Wow. <laughs> so <laughs> even we have a lunch, then the leader of Italy, they had this uh, advertisement of this Rome Ashram. It was a big project, so we needed to concern about her. So she asked her Mataji, can we go to see this place? because she wanted we buy uh, an ashram. So she said, yes, of course. So we came to the, this place, we parked the car, and then she said, oh, I have seen already. You go and see. So we came and see. I don't know if you have been there. It's a beautiful place. Exactly right, many rooms and big room for meditation, and big land, and all these arches, <clears throat> Roman arches, very nice. Uh -huh. So we came out, we said, Shadaji, it's beautiful, it's perfect. And then there is two buildings. Then she said, Oh, do you see the other building there also? Mm -hmm. Because it was too big property, the owner yeah. couldn't sell it. So uh, he make it division to sell two parts. Right. And we went there, the other part but it was not very nice. But she said, I'll buy it with both of it. Wow. So we bought it. Then in the puja there also, again, she said, <laughs> this... Uh, <laughs> These people who are around of me, when I want to depart, they get nervous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if that flight was not canceled, how could you have this ashram? Yes. So these are many episodes that happened in my life with her that she know every single thing. Yes. It just just playing, just uh, yes. enjoying herself. <laughs> yes, it is. It is. It is quite like that. How she is the all-knowing, all-powerful, all-permeating, and yet she allows her children, all of us, to sort of feel and think like we are doing things. Uh, what was it? Like, I mean, of course, Shramataji, I mean, I can just imagine uh, how you would have felt waiting, ready to drive her to the airport. And she was talking to the yogis and everything. And then that whole drama on the highway where there's an accident and then a police car going and then you are driving at a speed of 180, 190 miles per hour um, <laughs> to get to the airport in time. What was it like? And then when you went to see this property in Rome as 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 a yogi and the other yogis with you, what was the vibration like? Because, I mean, being with Srimata Jain itself is such a special privilege and such a blissful state. How did you feel? Well, I mean, uh, wherever I was uh, close to her, not very close even, 10 meters, Always this vibration, cool vibration there. For example, 10 days, I was a driver. So every day after breakfast, we used to go to the city. We had interview with the TV. We had interview with radio, newspaper, shopping, and come back to ashram. Then have dinner. After dinner, always there were 40, 50 people have problems, have sicknesses. 
she was inviting sometimes from public program those sick people to cure them. And she was putting his hand and his feet in, in these people that had problem. And until the last person she was not taking care, she wouldn't go to sleep. He was like a mother. <laughs> And sleeping, I don't know, two, three hours was yes. kind of laying down. Then again, next day was the same. 10 days, it was like this. And then when I used to take her to the airport, when we were saying bye-bye, she was going to another country. Mm. She was like a flower again. The same thing all the year through, she was the same. And when we were coming back to mm -hmm. Ashram, for three days we were sleepy. We had to sleep because yes. that vibration was not there. Yes. <laughs> Keep us away. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I mean, you I could see it. this body was special. <laughs> and what a special time to be with. Sri Adi Shakti Srimantaji herself. Um, so in these 40, 42 years, I mean, you've described how the blissful stage when you got your realization and the whole build up to it. Um, what is the what is the sort of let's say spiritual state now for you after after all this time? And how have you kept yourself sort of in in a state of balance so you you could be a, a, a very good instrument of Srimataji. Mm -hmm. Is there any special things you've done particularly? Well as <clears throat> as I told from the beginning it was uh, I got this message from her that whatever <laughs> because <laughs> when I was walking in that uh, garden instead his garden when I hear this voice that whatever you're searching is inside you, it's not outside. Somehow, this was the main goal of me. That, okay, I have to search it within myself. That was kind of the key for my ascent, for my growth, because when I look in the back, I can see like a seed is growing. I was like that. Always it was better and better and better and deeper and understand myself better that I am the image of God. So my attention from the beginning was working within me. So in this kind of journey of this meditation <laughs> to reach her, become image of her. So I try always, even, even now, it's getting better and better that uh, when I'm in thoughtless awareness, but thoughtless awareness, you know, we go up and down. If a few strands of Kundalini if established in Sahasrara, then our attention is connected during the day also. So clearly we can see ourselves, I can see myself. This Akbar sitting here, he cannot do any single thing. I cannot control my heart. How beautifully this heart is working for day and night, for years together. Can I do something? No. Can I take care of my liver? No. Can I digest my food? No. Can I take care of my eyes? No. Can I... 300 billion cells is working in this moment within me. Can I control one of those cells? No. So when you are fixed a little bit here, you can clearly see that this Akbar doesn't do any single thing. From childhood, like a tape recorder, I record in my ego and superego that uh, 
the fire is burning, water is cold, I want this, I hate this, I, 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 but this is tape recorder. Then when we grow up, we identify ourselves with this tape recorder. But in reality, she's saying, whatever idea even you have, I put in your head. Even those people are believing that we don't believe in God, I'm putting this idea in their head. Such a huge play is <laughs> she create. It's huge. When you get this, that these are all play, none of these human beings in the whole world can move his finger if she doesn't want. So now the war is there, this is there, that is. These are all the way I understand from myself is because this time is the most important time in the creation, in the all this incarnation. Billion, billion years, she make us grow, become human beings, now become Sahaj Yogi. Now she wants to see her image. So to see her image, one yogi has to open the door because then it's easier for the others. Like one fish becomes the tortoise. Then turtle become this, then become that. Now, now we are yogi. So she is saying to make that one such yogi image of me, I change the half of the universe. I don't care. I care about the such yogis. I want to see in the mirror that, oh, this is my image. There is no reaction. So when we are in that state that we know that this fellow, this president of America, this is from Russia, he make war, he make this. But <laughs> we have to reach to that state. We can watch them and know that God is working. This is a drama. I say it's like a movie. In the movie, so everything has to be there. But when you're watching, he chosen us as an instrument. I'm saying now, God is searching employees with all kind of benefit. That if I grow, if I understand this play, if I know I'm the image of God and I feel it, I feel this joy, this peace, this uh, collective consciousness, this knowledge of God. And I know, watch this whole drama in human beings. I know God is controlling them also. Then, then I'm sitting next to her. From her eyes, I'm watching the whole drama. It's such a joyful thing to see all of this drama, all these things are happening. So. This is become more wild, our society. Because in that kind of difficulties, she wants to see if you are reacting or if you have complete faith. Mm -hmm. That you don't do anything. She's doing everything for me and outside also. And for all human beings. Yeah. She's running their heart. She's digesting their food. If she doesn't want the war happen, <laughs> just but she doesn't because she wants to see that the one yogi can be me, can be you, can be any such yogi. Yes. That has no doubt. This thoughtless awareness is there. Yes. And now 54 years is passing since that child is grown up. Yes. So now we have to be self-sufficient. We have to be kind of sitting next to her. Yes. And do her job. Yes. Because in the past, all the religion, they came, 
God was one side, religion was one side, incarnation was another side. She came to say, now is integration. Yeah. Now you find me within yourself. In this sakyam bone, <laughs> she mother is there. Yeah, she absolutely. Mother Kundalini. So we have to worship her. We have to uh, be able to see that this is the mother is doing everything within us. Yes. Our attention should be inside ourselves. All these deities are within ourselves. So when we start understanding this, then when you see this play of divine, when you understand the play, then you're sitting in the kingdom of God. Then you are the citizen of Sri Mataji Maradevi. Adi Shakti. That is and you're watching this drama and you can see really everything is working out. Every single thing. I've been mean, coming to London. Yes. It was for a long time I wanted to come to do this program the same place I'm which sorry. I got my self-realization. Yes. Somehow this hall was booked. Everything is booked. So many help. Yes. I was not expecting all these people are such yogis are interested to support this Iranian program. Wow. Everything working out. I mean, I'm just enjoying every day we go to different shops, give self-realization to the owner of the shop or somebody working there to the restaurant. Is I mean <laughs> it's beyond words. Beyond word, I mean, she, as she says, whatever you need, they bring it for with plate for you. Yeah, yeah. It is like this, but the main thing we have to see that what we have to develop is ourselves. Yeah. Attention, God created within ourselves, but this ego doesn't allow. Always take ourselves out. So then this attention has to come back. For example, if I'm cooking 10 seconds, I stop. Akbar, you cannot cook. You can't laugh. She is cooking. And I can see the Kundalini is coming up. When I'm eating, Akbar, you cannot eat. Then I have to feed all this data. I have to feed Shri Yes. I have to love myself. I have to respect myself. I'm the temple of her, temple of all these deities. Yes. So this more you bring your attention. I mean, in the evening, I just massage my hand, my sahasrara. I, I feel this sahasrara also is not mine. This hand is not mine. This feet is not mine. It's all hers. Yeah. So with the love, I do this massaging her feet in my head. I ask, she manage allow me to massage her. And I feel the she's way. there. She's yes. in the morning, I'm getting up. So 74 years old, my back is a little bit. But I sit there and put my attention, put my hand, suction on bone. Shri how are you? Are you okay, happy? Am I doing good? I'm so thankful to you for everything. I mean, like this. Come up to Swadhisthana. I feel I can sit there one hour, two hours, just enjoying all this vibration comes up. So that altar we have to build within ourselves, then wherever you go, is it with you? Yes. So this is uh, really helped me so far. And yes. I'm so grateful to her that I mean, save yeah. <laughs> my life. I cannot confront from before and now. Yeah, yeah. It's impossible. <laughs> it is, absolutely. And what a blessing it is that Shamataji chose us as a children and and so um 
in her enormous compassion, because in the olden days, we are talking of hundreds and thousands of years ago, there used to be seekers like you and uh, so many of us now in different countries, different parts of the world where they would leave the normal, ordinary world and go and, you know, meditate and do penance, tapasya, to get mm -hmm. what we have got so easily. It's all yeah. thanks to Srimataji. And as um, my father, Papa, says, um, you know, she's the all-pervading, all-permeating power of God Almighty. And to, to listen to it, but to feel it, as you have very beautifully explained how, um, you know, Trimataji has given us this body as the temple of God and that we have to really look after it and how she is actually the doer and she's doing everything. But that recognition in us and that worship of Trimataji in our hearts inside us, that taking away the attention from outside to inside for our own evolution and for the evolution of uh, humanity so important uh, thank you so much uh, uncle for sharing your very beautiful uh, memories with Srimataji and the miracles that you have shared thank you so much Jai Srimataji Jai Srimataji thank you for, from you also <laughs> Thank you. Jai Thank Shumataji. you. Jai Shri Mataji. Thank you very much. Jai Shri Mataji. Jai Shri Mataji.